everyone. I'm Shauna Hassett coming to you from inside the hall at Patriot Place, presented by Raytheon. And with me here today are the Sharon Pop Warner A Team. Help me give a warm welcome to our special guest, Wendy Sebastian Balmer. Hey, how you doing? Hey there. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for Thank you. Now these guys have a lot of questions for you. Are you ready? Wow, uh, definitely. All right, I'm going to start us off though. Now you were 14 when you started playing football in Germany. Why did you start then, and how did you get into it so quickly? Well, I was a soccer player, probably like every European kid when I was younger, and I was a swimmer for a while, believe it or not. <laughs> and uh, yeah, my teams I got a little bigger, and I needed something more exciting. So I tried out for the local football team, which was in a city called Dusseldorf in Germany. And I loved it, and then yeah, stuck with it. Got a scholarship for Houston, then eventually got drafted here with the Patriots. So, was football different in Germany? Yes and no. I mean, the rules are kind of the same, but I guess the competition and the challenge is not as big as over here. How did the coach like discover you and all that? Well, I was uh, I played for the German national team and for the European All-Star team in uh, San Diego. It was a tournament called the Global Junior Championships. And okay. I think there were some scouts there. And then the following year, my last year of eligibility in Germany, we played for the national championship. And there were about eight coaches there. And I mean, they watched me play and then offered me a scholarship. Is the NFL draft a nervous place? You don't really know what's going to happen. So you hope, you pray, you work hard, but you just don't know what's going to happen. So. Draft day, yeah, it's exciting, and I guess it is a little nervous. Now, we, we've learned that your nickname is Seabass. Can you tell us what that's all about? Well, actually, I got that name before I came to Houston. So I couldn't really tell you who did it, who invented it, but it stuck with me. And actually, before I got here, people were calling me Seabass. So that's stuck. just what it is. All right, what's your question? What's it like to be a Wookiee? I mean, it's good, but it's a lot, lot to learn. Everything is new. Uh, you know, the plays, playbook, you don't know, like you move away. I mean, I came now from Houston, Texas, so about 1,800 miles away. It's just a lot of, yeah, a lot to learn. So, yeah, I mean, just got to be attentive and, and do your job. Is it, is the fans unnerving when you're at a different stadium? Well, it depends on where you are, but yeah, I mean, they're loud, but actually when, at least me, when I get on the field, I don't really, you know, listen to it and I kind of, you know, when they're booing at you, you just got to uh, kind of forget about it. But on the other side, if, you know, you're at home, your home crowd is cheering at you, it kind of gives you that good energy and you listen to it and you get really kind of hyped up. So that's fantastic. 